So Ellie, it's been announced this morning that you will be Thunder captain for the 2022 season. How does it feel to finally have that announced and be able to hear that? Yeah, it feels pretty good to be honest. Um, obviously, pretty proud achievement and something I've always wanted to do. So yeah, I'm really excited to get going. You captained the side in Dubai in the absence of uh, Alex Hartley. Uh, did that give you a real taste for the role and did you find that kind of a useful learning experience? Yeah, definitely. It was really good to get that opportunity out in Dubai. Um, the girls were brilliant as well and had some pretty positive feedback and really enjoyed it. So yeah, feeling pretty, pretty good about the season. Do you feel the preparation has been better this year with obviously Dubai coming up as well as the girls kind of putting in the work in the indoor centre? Yeah, definitely. I think the girls have had another long winter behind them, uh, another winter of a full-time programme. And um, yes, I was away for a few months of the winter and then to come back into that environment in Dubai, you can really see how much progress the girls have made. Um, and like you said, to get the opportunity out in Dubai with the, with the boys as well, um, just shows how committed Lancashire are to developing the women's game. And that was just a brilliant opportunity for us to, to train at world-class facilities and to play some decent games of cricket before the season. And it's a young squad. You're only 23 yourself and captain of the squad now. Over the last few years, because it's such a young squad, have you kind of developed that mentor-type role, given the probably average age of the squad is about 20, 21? Yeah, definitely. I think we are a really young group, but at the same time, that's really exciting. Um, I think hopefully we're going to be together now for the next few years. And yeah, there's some really ex ex exciting players in that group. And although we are young, I think we've got a real chance of competing really well this year. And as we mentioned, yeah, young squad. And there's some older heads within there that can kind of add to your leadership group with Alex as well as Kate Cross. And then also coaching-wise, you've got Paul Shaw and Stephen Parry. Will you be looking to them to kind of take on their knowledge and learn from them a bit? Yeah, absolutely. The, the coaching staff we've had this year have, have been brilliant and I couldn't have asked any more of, of them. And I'm going to definitely use all their knowledge and experience to, to try and get better. And like you said as well, we've got some, some players who've played quite a lot of international cricket as well. We've got Kate Cross, Alex Hartley, Sophie Eccleston all, all into that mix and hopefully available for selection this year. So, yeah, I'll definitely be be using all of their knowledge and, and experience to try and develop my own leadership skills. And then as captain this year, what are your aims for Thunder this season and how do you want to help the side push on? I think, like I said before, we've got a really exciting group of cricketers this year. We've, we've made a lot of progress over the winter and I'm, I'm quietly confident that we'll have a, a really good season. And um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to some, some really big performances from the girls. We've spent the last few weeks playing some, some county cricket um, and a lot of the players, even if it's not been with Lancashire, have put in some really big performances and I'm really, exciting, uh, really excited about them hopefully doing that for the Thunder this year.